Hello, beloveds. Alicia Sunflower here, tuning in with you for a, another collective reading. And this is a intuitive tarot oracle spread for this powerful, potent eclipse season that we are in. We had our first major eclipse of this season on June 5th, and we're gonna have another eclipse on June 21st, uh, which is also the summer solstice. And then we're going to have a, another eclipse on July 5th. So that means that we are having three eclipses within one lunar cycle. This particular alignment in the way that this is happening and in this time frame with the summer solstice and everything else that's happening with all of these retrogrades and so many alignments has not occurred for 2,000 years. So I'd like you to just take a moment and check what's the first thing that pops up for you. Many people are going to think, oh, 2,000 years ago was Christ, right? It's important to anchor that into our minds because whether or not you are a Christian, Christ has had a significant impact on all of our lives and on all of our collective cultures and narratives because of what Christianity has become. Christianity and Christ are not necessarily the same thing. I'm a uh, priestess of the Rose Path and part of what I have come to learn, if you haven't tapped into it yet, is the Sophia Code, um, is that there is a larger truth to what Christ is. And this has been coming to me in many ways as well as I dig deeper into Gnosticism and the Essenes, which is all a part of the Rose Path, that Christ is our, our divine true nature. We all have a right to be Jesus Christ and a birthright to be Jesus Christ. So this is a title rather than Jesus Christ. I like the term Sophia Christ. Sophia, the great mother of all. Christ, that beautiful flowering manifestation of the truth and love of Sophia manifest within this world. To kind of help ground this time in an understanding that there are major energies shifting and it has to do with the awakening of humanity. It is true you may have heard me talk about this, you may have heard other people talk about this, we are in the time of the great awakening. Right now the energy and the consciousness upon our planet is shifting which means everything is shifting. Ecological shifts, economic shifts, political shifts, social justice shifts, so many personal shifts within ourselves, cultural shifts inside and out. People are realizing the truth of the illusion of separation, the illusions of this paradigm of domination and control, seeing more clearly the disease of supremacy and also awakening and remembering to their own Christ nature within, their own divine and true essence within, and that the truth of everything is we are one, and that all things are love, and that this is the highest truth. So there is a tremendous shift happening for all of us right now. In addition to this very potent eclipse season portal, which is opening up for us an opportunity to move more deeply and truly and authentically and in surrender to this shifting of consciousness. We also have just begun a new eight year Venus cycle. For those of you that aren't familiar with Venus um, and Venus's eight year cycle, every eight years the Venus make this beautiful dance um, within the heavens, within our solar system, that turns into this beautiful um, five-petaled pattern known as the Venus Rose. This is a path of the divine feminine. Venus is a divine feminine portal and energy. She holds that for us. And this is a path of us moving and ascending and descending cycles. We have just closed out eight years. So if you think about that, that goes back to 2012. That was a big year. That was the ending of a whole great year, the Mayan calendar and the beginning of a new. 
so many things have shifted for all of us since 2012. That chapter has now closed and a new cycle is opening. And as this new cycle is opening, we went from starting that new cycle on June 3rd to having the first eclipse on June 5th. A crazy amount of really powerful and potent energies that are shifting for us within this cosmological, astrological realm. And we are all well aware of the many potent and shifting energies that are happening for us collectively. The deeper awakening that is arising right now to the disease of supremacy, specifically within its form of white supremacy, as the worldwide protests for Black Lives Matter in response to police brutality against Black people has been arising. COVID-19 and how this has shifted dramatically life for everyone on the planet and all of the layers that are being revealed about oppression and lack of equality and privilege that are all coming forward for all of this has brought us into a time where we cannot turn back, we cannot turn away. People are gathering, people are uniting, people are calling for a change. And no doubt in my mind have you been experiencing aspects of all of this on the inner realms as well, because it's all connected, it's all one. So what is happening out here is only ever a reflection of what is happening in here. And this is important for us to remember. I think my uh, extra blind from just outside this window fell down right there. It's being revealed. We are having revelations, awakenings on all levels. So with all of that, I feel called to share a collective reading um, and it's for this time it's for all of these energies so that we can tune into the guidance of spirit for our highest good individually and collectively really centering and keeping that truth of the interconnectedness of all things alive because as we continue to move forward into this time of shifting and great awakening we need to remember that it is here within our own hearts, within our own bodies, our own vehicles and vessels of consciousness, on all the layers that that means, this is where the revolution happens. If we want to seek to change this world out here, we must first look within. As our brother Rumi said, seek not for love, seek only for the barriers you have built within yourself against it. So don't seek for the love out here. Find it within. Find the places you keep yourself from it. The decks that I'm using today, um, I'm using three. If you've been watching any of my videos like this, you know I like to keep it diverse and mix it up. Multiple different messages from multiple decks. And the first deck is the Rumi Oracle deck. And I have such a deep space in my heart for Rumi and his wisdom and teaching, one of my greatest teachers. And this deck is so beautiful and transformative. The art, the channeling that Elena Fairchild does, one of my favorite decks. The Medicine Woman Tarot by Carol Bridges, Vision Quest Tarot um, by Gayan Sylvie Winter and Joe Dulce. And so the integration of these decks and how it has played out for today looks like this. So we got a lot of cards happening here. Um, there's a lot going on. Not only is this reading for right now in this, this lunar cycle that we're in, keep in mind that eclipses have a very potent shadow for the following six months. So this applies to that time period as well. And that this is tied into that new Venus cycle. So this is also expressing a longer journey that we're taking over eight years. So there's a lot of information to process in here and it's gonna be happening within this month, within the next six months and within the next eight years. So let's dive in. I always tend to find a centering point, a foundation, um, a core, something that is really holding the reading together. I think that's a reflection of the fractal nature of reality. Our foundation, our centering point within this reading is the card of the all-encompassing hand. This is a beautiful, beautiful card and essentially this card is speaking to the hand of God, the all-encompassing hand that holds everything, the hand of grace, 
that is here that there is this important potent centering message that with everything that's unfolding everything that's unraveling everything that's deconstructing everything that's decomposing everything that is awakening everything that is shifting all the different layers of chaos that are happening and that are likely to continue to unfold that we are being held in the loving embrace of our creator we are being guided through the all-encompassing hand. There's a particular message of this card that if we feel there are things that are out of our control and we don't know how to resolve them, this is a potent oracle message to let us know that the divine has it. It is already taken care of and everything is happening in perfect timing. The imagery on this card is so beautiful. You know, you can really see that feeling of being held by this divine energy. There's this balance between light and dark um, that is occurring here and that's all a part of it. So as we move through our reading, we're going to be continually moving through the all-encompassing hand because part of how I see this um, round reading here is that we have this wheel with these spokes, spokes of the tarot cards, this cross, and that cross moves through the all-encompassing hand with there being five total roomy cards that speaks to me um just what came to me intuitively when they fell this way was it uh the five-pointed star the reminder of that rose of venus that really venus is speaking to us through roomy which makes perfect sense because roomy was such an oracle for divine feminine wisdom so let's just lay the kind of the groundwork of our reading with talking a little bit more about these other um, beautiful, potent, roomy oracle cards. What else does the Divine Feminine have to say to us about what is holding us and moving us through um, this, this great wheel of shifting energy that is happening for all of us right now? The first card that I want to bring your attention to um, is the Cosmic Heart. The imagery on here showing this kind of like a rising sun through this, this uh, kind of sea, like there's a water, there's a fire element here um, that is really speaking to um, a balancing of energy and also this, this shifting because these two elements don't, you know, as we experience them, they don't really mix together, um, yet there is a blending that's happening here. It's a very dynamic energy within this card and I wanna share um, a couple of specific messages that go along with this. More love is rushing towards you like a great cosmic tsunami. You will struggle with this blessing to the extent that you will attempt to hold on to what has been. So don't. Let it go. Let it move you. You'll perhaps get some water up your nose, but nothing will come to you that cannot be handled. You'll be disheveled somewhat, undoubtedly. Yet as you are washed up upon the love shining shore, keeping every hair in place will be the last thing on your mind. You'll be too caught up in the wonder of perfection, realizing how deeply loved you are and how unnecessary it is to contrive a way to live your purpose. How unnecessary it is to contrive a way to live your purpose. Instead, You'll have no idea what is going on. <laughs> You'll be surrendered in passionate embrace with life, simply being your exquisite, crazy, unique self, saturated with divine love. It will drip from you out of your feet, your eyes, your voice, your touch. You'll water the earth with love's oceanic presence. No need for any contrivance. Let your hair get messed up. Your destiny awaits you now. With these energies blending and coming together, we are in for a tsunami, family. <laughs> and I think we already know this. What is being asked of us is to trust that this is spirit's tsunami. This is needed, this change. And we are asked to trust in that. Again, 
This is being guided by that hand of grace, that hand of love, this wave that is carrying us astrologically, cosmologically, socially, culturally, internally, this wave of consciousness, a frequency that is rising through the earth on all levels. This wave is carrying us to love's shining shore. We will struggle with this to the degree that we hold on to what is not moving in flow with this shifting energy, with this wave. This is something eclipse seasons always bring up for us. A review of things, a review of stories, a review of narratives, patterns, behaviors, habits. Let the water take you. Trust that this wave is the wave of love being guided by spirit for our highest and greatest good for all. So notice where you're resisting that movement and allow yourself to surrender into how love wants to move you. Trusting that it's taking you to your greatest destiny and that you don't have to try to do anything to contrive your purpose. I think so much for us, our purpose is, um, as I see it for myself, is to be love. So I can do that in all things, all moments. You know, maybe for you it's to be joy or to be awareness, to be presence, to be peace. And we can do all of those things in all moments. And those are all reflections of our divine true nature and the accessing of our Christhood. And from the other direction on this diagonal, moving from the cosmic heart back through, weaving through um, into the all-encompassing hand and into the sacred phoenix heart. <laughs> We have a lot of cosmic sacred hearts coming forth today in this reading, fam. Now, the sacred phoenix heart, I'm sure all of you are aware with phoenix energy, this is transformation. But for transformation to happen, the old must die. Again, we are being called to surrender and let go of what doesn't serve no more. Let it go. Let it burn up and allow the new earth, the new self, the new remembrance of our true nature to rise forth from these ashes of an old paradigm of forgetting and illusion. Sacred Phoenix Heart is rising within the collective right now. It's rising within you. It's rising within Gaia herself, of which we are all just reflections and emanations, manifestations of. And regarding divine timing, that oh so significant factor in your dreams coming to life. Your time is fast approaching. It may even be now. It may seem least likely to you. There may be great darkness or confusion. And yet the unveiling of the new dawn is closest to the deepest, darkest of night. Do not turn back or away from your progress. Your very next step shall be upon hallowed ground, rendered golden by the rays of the rising sun. You may feel though you've been wandering the desert for years with no oasis. You may have been feeling lost. You are now going to receive the answers that you need. This is a part of the great awakening. Things that we've been seeking Maybe you have some goals, some passions, a drive, a calling within you that you know you're here to be and share and give for the world, for your own liberation and for the liberation of us all to be of service. And it hasn't clicked yet. This is a message it will in the right time to trust that that's on its way. The divine, <laughs> you know, I'm just constantly blown away by spirit, aren't you all? And how amazing our creator is and the perfection of all things and the story that spirit writes for us is so much better than the story our ego minds contrive of so maybe this is a need to let go of the idea that it needs to happen in this particular way and to allow yourself to surrender to this deconstruction and letting go and to know and trust that you are the phoenix rising your time will come it's coming it's on its way. Trust in that divine timing. Part of this divine timing that we are experiencing through our sacred phoenix hearts collectively is the burning down of the disease of supremacy, of racism and white supremacy, and this whole insidious, sick way of being 
within ourselves that we have inherited from our ancestors was a disease that they carried through colonization, through the patriarchy, through white supremacy, keeping us separate. All of this disease needs to burn down. And we can trust that in divine right timing, these systems will fall. It's already happening. It's finished. The matrix is unraveling. And like the sacred phoenix, we shall rise in truth, in justice, in love, in unity, in peace, and in right relationship with each other. Back into the all-encompassing hand, we're still being held by that hand of grace, and then moving into I surge on the uprising wave of love. Woo! We got more waves too, fam! <laughs> And you guessed it, it is all about love. <laughs> We're, we can't get away from that family. It actually is the truth of all things. What is happening right now is this uprising wave of love. We are being asked to surrender to that wave of love. It's a really strong message of this reading, the call to surrender. You could call that faith. You could call that trust. It's time to deeply move into that in a way that we never have before at least for most of us. This oracle comes with a message for you. There are changes happening and they will be out of your control. This is because you are ready for accelerated life change. Rather than paddling, you'll be caught up in a wave and moved farther, faster. Let yourself surge on the energy of what is happening. <clears throat> Leading with your heart and just going with whatever unfolds. This will bring you the best fortune and open you up to the divine destiny that is your birthright this lifetime. I don't think this is probably a stretch for anyone to comprehend that there are changes happening in this world that are beyond our control. It's time that we allow this wave to take us. Trust in this wave. Move into deeper union with the allies, with the divinity that grounds you and centers you and supports you. Because when you have that center here, it matters not what chaos is occurring within or without. You can ride that wave. Trust it's taking us farther, faster than we've ever been before. This is accelerated growth time, fan. Consciousness is shifting. It's a new age. Flow with it. Find your center and know everything is going to be okay. Just ride that upsurging wave of love. <laughs> Moving through this card again, through the all encompassing hand of grace and love, we move into the card of from nothing to everything. Okay, this is a card that reflects the origin of us all from the black womb of no thing of Sophia we moved into everything of the all that is and this is helping us to see how we as fractal reflections of our great divine parentage are manifesting this now oh my friend if you are longing to be written on become a blank page Rumi more messages of letting go. <laughs> Time to let go of that ego. And I speak that directly to myself. That's one thing that uh, Eclipse seasons always show me is uh, more of my own ego and the places of clinging and attachment and resistance. Um, and blessed be, because the more I become aware of that, the more I see it and the more I can release it. And it is a spiral. So it is a layered process. It doesn't happen all at once. Um, and that's a beautiful part of it as well. Some particular guidance. You are being asked to let go, to receive, to become empty, to be filled. This may mean letting go of attachment to a lover so you can receive genuine love. It may be of no longer holding on to a fantasy of your dream job, but of being guided into your most soulful and successful vocation. 
It may mean letting go of wishes for your body or health to be other than it is, so you can simply get on with living each day, taking steps into wellness without thinking beyond one day at a time. It is the divine paradox that when we are asked to surrender a story or fantasy, it is because reality is knocking at our door more often than not with the delivery of what we have been fantasizing about, but in the best way for us. The human experience of this paradox is that you may feel you are giving up hope that your fantasy is dying. It may feel painful. It may bring up much grief. But all of that is dying is your attachment and opinion about how it must be. This needs to happen so you can stop dreaming and start living it. This is what is happening for you now. Do not fear any part of your process. Embrace it without expectation, with trust in your heart. The divine is simply guiding you from fantasy into fullness. This five point star here, this reminder of Venus, this message from Venus through our brother Rumi is we need to trust, have faith, surrender to this shift, to this awakening, to this love, to this cosmic wave of frequency that is moving through us, through our collective and individual consciousnesses, through Gaia herself and creating a new reality that everything is happening in perfect timing in the perfect way that it needs to for this shift to occur that we need to come home to our center, trust that we are being reborn, let go of what is that old paradigm. Be heartful and compassionate and forgiving with ourselves and others as we do this. And trust and faith that the hand of our beloved creator is guiding us and holding us within all of this. There's much love to be had here, much support open yourself up to it, surrender your ego, surrender your attachments, and allow this great shift to happen to you and through you and for you and for us all. So this message anchors us in some particular messages that come through, through our two tarot decks. And I'd like to start with the aspect of the cross that is moving from above to below. What's interesting here is we have two five of cups, two five of waters. This is a card of loss. This is a card of grief. The way that these two decks interpret that is a little different. Fam, this is a part of it, right? We just had a lot of messages about letting go. That is a part of it. Loss and grief and the letting go. First, from our medicine woman tarot deck, the five of bowls, let go of your gift of love. And we can see in this image here, there's this, this woman kind of walking away on a path like into the ocean. Um, and he has, this man has this bowl here. Um, it's kind of radiating some energy, some light. Um, and, you know, there's a need for him to either let go of his gift of love for her to be unattached to her as she's going, or to give up this bowl he's holding. Either way, you have a gift of love, and it's time for you to surrender your attachment to it, whether that means holding it back and not sharing it, or holding on to it that it needs to be a specific way. Just let it flow through you like the river moves into the ocean. So for the five of water in our Vision Quest Tarot, the message is loss, disillusionment, Okay. Meltdown, leaving the old, instability, pain, possible separation, torment caused by misinterpreting one's actual situation. There are many ways of inherited this disease of consciousness that keeps us locked in the illusion of separation and thusly within our suffering. Part of what this card is talking about is the removing of the veils that keep us from seeing how we have been keeping ourselves in this illusion. So a disillusionment, the degree to which we fight against 
this revelation, the degree to which we hold on to false truths is the degree to which we will suffer with it. And part of what I think is beautiful with the imagery of this card, um, the five bowls, three of them are broken and spilling out the water to our hole. Um, there are spirals revealed within the broken bowls. Um, again, we move through a spiral. We move through this cosmic sacred geometry that is the inherent movement. We move through cycles. There's things that need to be let go over time. And that's a part of this process that will be unfolding within this month, within this next six months, within this next eight years. The veils of ignorance are being lifted. Blessed be, blessed be. Ignorance is not bliss, ignorance is a cage. May we awaken to it and see it so we may remove it because it is an illusion in and of itself that is only maintained by our belief in it. And our ignorance to it is a part of our belief in it and holding it there. Many layers that are gonna happen with this individually and collectively, um, awakening to the ways that we have been polluting ourselves, geoengineering, GMOs, pesticides, raping the earth for her resources, oil spills, forest fires, all of the chemicals that we've been eating, cleaning ourselves out of our minerals, polluting our psyches, our minds, our consciousness, our culture, our families, our relationships, this whole disease of supremacy showing up as white supremacy and racism, showing up as colonization and the need to control and wipe out and suppress indigenous peoples and their ways of life, the patriarchy and the suppression of the feminine and of women, all of these ways that together we have decided something is better than another and because this is above another, we have a right to hurt this one here. This violent pollution of our inner realms and the way we relate together through our psyches and psychology and through our consciousness and culture. All of the different behind the scenes things like the satanic pedophile rings, hashtag Pizzagate, look it up. New World Order, the Illuminati, the Cabal, whatever you may call it these dark t-shirts, this dark energy, which has been seeking to control and manipulate us. We all need to wake the fuck up to this. Blessed be, we are. It's gonna be painful sometimes. These are painful things to recognize and hold space for, yet it is the truth. And the truth will set you free. The truth is here to set us free. Allow this disillusionment to happen. This is nothing more than a helpful wake up call. So wake the fuck up. Okay, there's going to be changes that are going to happen without warning, as it already has been in 2020. This is going to continue in many ways. Be like water. Move and flow with spirit as we move through these, these changes. It may be painful insights coming, but embrace that because it's leading you to truth. And as we experience the loss of ego, the loss of attachment, the loss of old ideas. We go through this lifting of the veil and this disillusionment again. We are being guided through that hand, that all-encompassing hand of grace. And what comes out of that? Well, that is where we find the daughter of water within the Vision Quest Tarot. This is also the Page of Cups within the traditional tarot. And this, this beautiful feminine energy here is really connected to the sacral. You can see um, the daughter of water here is holding this bowl and it's pouring forth this energy through her womb space, through her hara, through her sacral. This is a sexual creative energy space. It's moving outward. She's sharing it. And look at this look on her face. She's peaceful content. There's even like maybe a wry little humor twinkle in there that I can perceive. Um, I see this as as we move through this letting go, this releasing, this disillusionment, 
guided by the hand of grace, when we move through it in that way, we will find ourselves being able to share of our love and our creative energy. This could mean within the context of relationship, whether that be sexual or non-sexual. This can also be in the context of your own creativity, which again could happen in relationships. It could happen um, with art. It can happen within business. It can happen within the way you relate to the earth and your lifestyle, your culture. There are many ways, but there will be this ease and peace and flowing and allowing that energy that we had to let go of within those earlier cards, right? Pouring forth from those bowls could be recycled and reused to become the pure energy of sharing our love. Share your love in whatever ways are right for you as you let go of the old and everything that clouds you and keeps you trapped in separation and suffering, you will find an ease and flow of the truth of your love moving into the world in creative ways that are right for you. You will find more love in your relationships, more connection, more intimacy, and more peace. Woo! <laughs> sounds pretty good huh it's a pretty good reason to let that other shit go okay and another thing that happens for us as we move into the space of having this free-flowing love and creativity moving through us is that we now move into abundance okay we've an abundance of this creative loving energy to share and that is where the Harvest Lodge of Stones comes forth within our Medicine Woman Tarot. This card uh, equates to the Queen of Pentacles within the traditional tarot. And this is a card of providing plenty. That's the message here. Um, if you look within this hut, within this lodge, um, there is an abundance of food um, and warmth. And it's like literally seeping out into the soil through the door. You have so much love, so much resources that can be qualitative, quantitative. You have so much to give and it's free flowing through you. Share it and know that secretly hidden within here, the Ace of Cups is the message as we give we receive, right? That's that Taurus energy. That's the foundation of the truth of energy within the world. Um, in order to get to that place of flowing abundance within, to be able to flow without, we need to let go of what is holding us from accessing that pure Shakti energy within our Hara womb spaces. So trust in faith, listen, Listen to that all-encompassing hand moving through you and helping you to release what no longer serves so that you can be of your highest, most beautiful service. So let's look at the cross now, moving from east to west. We have the two of arrows, and uh, this equates to the two of swords, the air elemental. Um, this is a card that has come up so many times in readings that I've done. The message of this card is to aim high above the common thought. And I cannot see this as being more appropriate. I mean, I think this is why it keeps coming up because there is this mass narrative that is based in this hypnosis to this um, submission to the disease of supremacy and the illusion of separation. And we need to aim high above that. And part of what helps us to do that is tapping into our spiritual allies. And I see that within the message of this card, within the imagery. Ancestors, star beings, white buffalo, white buffalo woman. That's a divine feminine Christ energy. Um, even coyote, the maybe a trickster energy that can help us to do that aiming high above the common thought. We need to shake it up, right? Allowing and tapping into these spiritual energies into your spiritual guides, however they may come to you, is a part that will allow you to aim your mind, aim your actions, aim your words, aim your energy above that common paradigm. And part of what is going to be important is what this, this card, this image is aiming at. Okay, it's aiming at the five of fire, stress. Oh, <laughs> I look at the imagery on this card and, 
you know, we have like these five hands holding these flaming torches and they're kind of pointing them at each other. And there's, you know, there's like a bit of a dark energy in the sky and like a luminous fiery horizon and there's lightning, you know, like part of this war on consciousness that we have been in for thousands of years as this paradigm of domination and control has been seeping human emotional energy from us to feed off of is to have this outward expression of this stress of this chaos in fighting in war in brutality in violence okay violence with words violence with body violence with policy violence with action in so many ways this card is really speaking to that but here's the key there is also a message here the interconnectedness of all things everything that is happening out here is a reflection of what's happening within because god is within you the truth the creator that of this creation is within you and this is all a reflection of that so to keep in mind that the more you can be with what's here inside your own being on all levels and you deal with the stress and the chaos, the suffering and turmoil that's happening within you, the places where you war with yourself, with yourselves, you will be able to help de-escalate, resolve, repair, renew the energy that is happening on the outer realms don't turn away from it don't ignore it we're not here to move back into ignorant sleep it's here find balance with relating to it and understand that the work for you is within the revolution will not be televised because it is inner work quote from senu estelle of a revitalization of that phrase because it is inner work okay Aim high above the common thought of what all of this stress means. Recognize the truth of spirit, the truth of marriage, the truth of the fractal, and participate in your sovereign liberation by being present with here and watch how that is the revolution that will occur within the world, within the collective. When you revolutionize your inner world and reclaim your sovereign divinity, you will create the ripples within the world. And when we do that collectively, is done. Listen to that guidance from spirit on how to do this. When you find pieces that are painful for you with this, what's happening in the world around you, in your relationships, in the collective, notice how this is marrying something within yourself and that there's something you can do here for it. That is gonna look similar and different for all of us. So finding spaces where you can continue to connect with people around this is also gonna be a helpful part of it as we aim high above the common thought together. No man is an island, we are all in this creating a new culture together. So cultivating that culture within and cultivating that culture within with other people who are cultivating that culture within is a part of how that culture will take form and take shape and have an impact on influencing and shifting and changing the whole of our Gaian collective. Again, trusting that as we aim high above the common thought, we move through this stress and this chaos, we are being guided by the all-encompassing hand of grace and love and spirit. And as we do that, we will become... The medicine man, aka the magician or the alchemist within traditional tarot. Powerful card. This is a card of us embodying our divine masculine energy. Okay, because we can tap into all elementals and we can create, we can alchemize, we can be magicians, we can be wizards, we can be witches, we can be warlocks, we can be co creators of our divine nature together. We can be in our power, in our sovereign divinity, in the world. We do this in our work. We come together. We do this in our work together. We create this new culture. Individually and collectively, we become the medicine men. We become the magician. We become the alchemist. Uh, <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, fam. And it's happening. And this is a part of the importance of us coming together so we can reflect the truth of who we are of our sovereign divinity, of our innate Christ nature that is the core of who we are. 
when we come together to do that, we amplify it and we co-create it all the more. So that is a part of this as well. You are already what you seek. <laughs> it's fascinating, this dream dance that we're in constantly um, and how much it, it comes back to these simple messages from spirit. Release, from let go, surrender, love, trust, faith. Be who you are. Be the love that you are. Simply be. Mm. The chaos that we need to move through are the obstacles that we've created inevitably so that we can have this reunion with the union that always has been within and without. The fathomless strength of your internal medicine man supports you. So dare what must be dared now. No matter whether it's job related or concerns an affair of the heart, you can accomplish more than you believe. You are much more than you know. Your true being exists beyond all human imagination. If you allow your mental doors to open and step into the unknown with your whole heart and determination, your outer life will flourish in unknown ways too. Here's your chance to heal internally and externally as you go beyond your self-imposed limits. As you go beyond your self-imposed limits. Become aware of your inner power. The power of your internal medicine man lies in the faithful observance of natural laws since they reflect the power of the great mystery. But his greatest strength is found in the openness and clarity of his perception. This is your key to his innermost nature. The ego, human mind, it's, it's beautiful, it's important, it's a part of it. Yet, when we open ourselves to aligning our perception with divine mind. That's when the magic happens. That's where we step into our medicine man. We are stronger than we know individually and collectively. And this great awakening is here to free us, to free us all so we can co-create heaven on earth once again. Trust in that, have faith in that. We are being brought to love's shining shores blessed be blessed be and when we are there what we will find is bounty aka the empress our last card medicine woman tarot bounty this is the divine feminine okay when we move through this chaos and we aim high above the common thought guided by the all-encompassing hand of love, we will find our innate power as the medicine man, our divine masculine expression forth into the world, alchemizing within and without. And we will find the bounty of the divine feminine sitting upon her throne, sharing her love, sharing her bounty of heart, of sustenance and of the earth. We will be in that space of union within and without, living in the truth of love and unity all together. Family, this is why we are here. This is why we have incarnated in this time. And all of us have different roles to play. Some of us are here to really be speakers for the change. I truly believe we're not here to awaken anyone. We are here to be there when people wake up. So it's not about trying to convince others of what is real or what is needed. They're on their own path and some people will not be moving into this with us and we need them to play that role. To continue to show us where we're moving from in the shadows of consciousness itself. And each of us will find our own truths as we move into this. And there's room for all of that together within the beauty of the rainbow way, of the beauty way which holds our things in harmony. And that is a part of the beauty of this bounty we are co-creating and finding and remembering from. So much change. <laughs> Blessed fucking be. We need it. And so we shall have it. Divine orchestration, all things in its perfect right time. Oh, it is all divine. Mm, 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 mm. If during this time you are finding um, a need for more clarity, more support, 
You can also reach out to me for individual soul purpose mentoring work. You can also reach out to me for individual readings like this, where we can go deeper into how all of this is showing up for you. I'm also going to be creating some additional workshops and courses on how reclaiming our sovereign divinity is key within this cultural and collective trauma healing. Um, and that relates strongly to all of these messages I've been talking about. So stay tuned in to my work here. Follow me on Instagram at the Alicia Sunflower and on YouTube, Alicia Ana Sunflower Rose. I calls to you, reach out to me. You can send me an email or a direct message. Check out my website, aliciagleason.com. You can learn more about my services there. I love you so much. You know, I love you so much. You are me and I am you. We are one eternally, and we are remembering together the only way that we can. <sighs> Blessed be. Remember that in truth, in all ways, in all things, we got this. Blessings.